Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. This episode I'm going to continue Sector 9 with the ninth task actually. I managed to solve about four tasks in each of the last two episodes, so hopefully I will continue with at least the same speed. Today, let's see, first task we get in an array of integer and we're supposed to return an array of integer. And from what I can see, this new array contains the negatives of the numbers that the old array contained. So what will I do? I create an array with a, about the same size, numbers.length, and then I say for int i equals zero, i smaller numbers dot length i plus plus i assign to result i exactly numbers i times minus one maybe i can even write just minus so let me see if that's the correct solution and let me judge the uh, the skill rating. Apparently I got it right at least for the first test case, got it right for all test cases and even got the full skill rating so I'm content with this level. Let's continue on to the next one. New code fragment, first attempt run we get again in a num uh, an array of integers numbers, supposed to return an array of integers and um, judging from the second test example, we're supposed to reverse the list, so let me think about this for a second, I need, no I don't even, I can, I can, swip that, I can swap that in place, let's say int i equals zero, i is smaller than numbers dot length divided by two, i plus plus, and I'm just going to swap in temp equals numbers i, numbers i equals numbers numbers dot length minus i i guess i have an offset error here right now but numbers dot numbers dot length minus i uh, minus uh, minus i not minus one equals temp i'm pretty sure there's there's an offset of one right now this should be minus i minus one, right? I know this is not the best style because there's duplication in it, but just to check whether that's correct. Okay, this is a trivial case. Let me see what happened to the other cases. And then let me think about whether I can do this a little nicer. Yes, I actually have already have an idea how to write this a little more concise, but let's first wait for the judgment of the almighty code hunt, uh, code hunt tool. It's a code hunt, code hunt tool. Sounds a little strange, and today it's actually a little slow. But even though there's duplication in it, I already got a full skill rating, that's very nice. Still, I want to try whether I can do this a little better numbers dot length minus one and say here j minus minus and then I can just use j here j does this give me the full skill rating I hope the second evaluation doesn't take as long as the first one because I currently don't know what I should talk about in the meantime I think it's a little nicer to read, don't you think? If you have any comments, any ideas about that, just uh, let me know. I would be really interested if you would write it like that, or like the last one, or just extract the uh, 
like this part I had before with uh, the minus i to, uh, to a variable you compute at the beginning so you don't have to repeat the computation. What would you do? What's your preferred way of writing something like that? I, th I think I would probably use the, the variable in here. Yeah, okay, I still get the full skill rating for that, so I'm content with the, with the solution, but what I just wanted to say, I, I would probably prefer the variant of uh, defining the variable j in the beginning of the loop as numbers uh, dot length minus uh, 1 minus, j, uh, minus i instead of doing it here in the header because I think that's not so nice to read. It's not so clear what's actually going on. But it's working at full skill rating, so I'm content with it for now. Let's continue with task number 11. We're supposed to retrieve a code snippet and it says use a char array to reverse the string. Interesting. So I already wrote the reverse thing for string. So what I would do is say s dot to char array and then do the same thing as I just did for and i equals zero, i smaller s dot length, i plus plus, j equals s dot length, uh, s dot length minus one minus i, and then say, it's not really nicer, is it? Anyways, for now I'm going to stay with that. Char C equals oh no, I cannot I cannot call it C because it's already here. Char temp is C I C I is C J and C J is temp. So that should be about it. Now that I see the solution, I'm not really sure if I prefer that, but actually I messed things up a bit because I don't... Ah, yeah, yeah stupid me. I forgot the division by two, so I flipped them every character twice, so in the end I end up with the same string as I started off with. Yeah, so this looks far better. Hopefully this works for all solution, otherwise I would be really confused. And I'm curious to see what the skill rating tells me. Now we, the, the, there's no, no, uh, there's no such, there's no such so long line. There's no such long line, whatever, you know what I, uh, suppose what I wanted to tell you uh, there's the loop header is not as long as it was before in my my previous solution but therefore the loop is a little longer and at least I didn't get the full skill rating so let me just try um, again the solution I had before to see whether it's any better s dot length minus one here and then say j minus minus Let's see what the mighty code hunt judgment says about this solution. At least it seems to evaluate a little faster or not. Not entirely sure. It's interesting that he uh, is able to solve, uh, to check these test cases that fast, but then continues on checking for whatever else. Um, until it tells me whether my solution is correct or not and gives me skill rating. It would be really interesting to see what he's doing in the background. But apparently he's at least not uh, content with my solution. So the question is how to do this any shorter in a Java way of doing things. 
Again, I guess I could write this way smaller in C sharp, but I don't see a shorter solution than this in Java. So if you have any ideas uh, how to get a better skill rating in Java, please drop me a comment. I'm happy to try it out and report back to you. Um, for now, oh no, I, uh, what did I hit first? I guess I hit switch in time. So let's go to the solution. Yeah, now it works. Say using system.link. I would actually do a string to char array reverse join. And maybe that I have to give him a separator string for the join operation. I'm not entirely sure. No, apparently that was even too much. So it might be possible to solve it just like that. No, there's no join method. How do I join? So maybe not join, but I think there's a string concat thing that might be able to do what I want. Missing method exception. Method not found concat. So apparently this method is not there or I'm not allowed to use it. Maybe it's a string join. I'm not sure it's the separated first or the last. I think there's a join method. At least this is working. Let's see if I get a full skill rating for that because I'm not sure about this. But the code hand tool thinks this is a better solution than my Java one gives me the full skill rating for that. So thanks a lot code hand tool. Okay, seeing that there's uh, only three tasks left in this sector, um, I think I take the risk that I will not finish in the next episode and stop this episode right here. Um, to have a chance that the next episode will not be again one of those short sector finishes. So thanks a lot for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please consider to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter. I post regular updates on what I do. And if you have any feedback, critics or ideas about what I could do, just drop me a comment or send me a message. I'm always glad to hear what you think and uh, I always want to improve my work. And of course, if, you, if you're interested in my videos, also have a look at the other series I'm doing on my YouTube channel, like the Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse and the Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life and the other things I'm doing. So yes, thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye!